What's up everybody, it's Simon from Lake Hub. Today's spotlight is on Lake Tawakini in Northeast Texas. Lake Tawakini is 50 miles east of Dallas. It's about 38,000 acres. It's a really good sized lake and it's really accessible if you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Tawakini was built on the headwaters of the Sabine River, which goes all the way down to the Gulf Coast. And so it's built and run by the Sabine River Authority. This lake was built in the late 1950s, early 60s, primarily for water use. So lake Tawakini is named for the Tawakini people who, you know, originally resided in this area, very closely related to the Wichita's. In fact, I think they're actually registered present day with the, with the Wichita tribe. It was probably actually closer to Tawakana, but the English interpretation is Tawakini with a W. Tawakini is a wide open lake. It's a great lake for boating. It's a great lake for fishing. It's a great lake for camping on too. There are lots of amenities here. There's a lot to love. There are a bunch of marinas, most of them on the west side. There's a couple on the east side, but most of them are west and southwest of the lake. So the lake is pretty much split right in two by Highway 276 into the kind of a north part and a south part. The bridge is really low. I mean, maybe you can get underneath it with the bass boat right now, but it's pretty low. So you're either generally gonna stay in the north section or you're gonna stay in the south section. A lot of the marinas and amenities are on the west and southwest portion. So on the west side of the lake, where 276 comes in, that's the town of West Tawakini. Across the bridge, that's the town of East Tawakini. And that's pretty much the only thing going on around the lake as far as you know towns go there is plenty of camping around lake tawakini there are private rv parks there's rv spots at several marinas and uh, there's even tawakini state park so there's a state park if you have a rig of pretty much any size if you are into tent camping you know kind of boondocking it there's something for everybody if you like camping so the fishing at Lake Tawakini is really, really good. A lot of people miss out because they blow right on by going to Lake Forth chasing trophy bass. Now, there's something to say for that, but the bass fishing is still really good at Lake Tawakini. And what's really, really good, what the lake is really known for is catfish. I mean, it's known as the catfish capital of Texas. And when we're talking about catfish here at Lake Tawakini, we're talking about blue cats. This lake is loaded with blue cats. You're watching Lake Hub. We are sharing the joy of lake life. That means boating and fishing and camping and swimming, vacations, all kinds of fun stuff. Don't miss out on future lake spotlights. Make sure to subscribe right now. There is a ton of wildlife around Lake Tawakini. All the usuals, deer, turkey, foxes, you know, hogs, coyotes, that sort of stuff. Uh, but the bird watching is really, really good. Um, people have registered um, over 200 different species of birds around Lake Tawakini. And in fact, Tawakini, being a sister lake to Lake Fork, is part of the January Lake Fork eagle count. That's right, eagles. There are eagles that winter here on Lake Tawakini. That's pretty cool. As far as housing goes, uh, there's a lot of waterfront housing in the area. Some rentals, you know, some vacation rentals, not as many as some other lakes. It's not a big like you know vacation tour spot um, which kind of makes it a hidden gem the real estate market is kind of a mixed bag uh, but there is a lot of waterfront opportunity on Lake Tawakini the boating on Lake Tawakini is fantastic it's a wide open lake so you don't have to worry about obstructions you don't have to worry about lanes you don't have to worry about you know different coves and stuff like that I mean it's just a wide open you know haul booty kind of boating lake. The terrain around Tawakini is this post oak tr transitional savanna. So we're kind of pushing into East Texas. A lot of people would call this area East Texas, uh, but it doesn't look like East Texas. So you can see behind me a lot of oak trees. There's mostly oak trees around this kind of shallow rolling hills and valleys. No real, you know, big remarkable geological features around the lake, but really really pretty in the fall. If you want to get out, do some boating and fishing on a beautiful lake, 
not too far from the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, check out Lake Tewakini. Start your adventure at laketewakinitexas.com. I'm Simon with Blake Hub. We'll catch you next time.